going to be using for this. Uh, got a good pair of good pair of nippers. Uh, I'll just keep using my god hands, but you can use the display if you'd like, whichever your budget allows. Um, glass file, 400 grit sandpaper on acrylic, 800, and then uh, you know a very then a buffing um, melanine, uh, melanine sponge hard pad and melanine sun soft pad. And then I have my two foam pads which I cut, uh, one fine grit and then ultra fine for polishing, smoothing down the uh, plastic. Finished up the build for the architect, the snap build. Uh, let me get that out of here. And this is what I come up with. Um, I'll get up. I'll change camera angles in a minute, but I just wanted to stop here and just show you it completed without the lights on, just so you get an idea of how much detail there is just coming at it without any paint. Now I haven't panel lined this or anything. I'm just going to be discussing the quality and merits of just the, uh, in this one, it's just going to be, how does it look right out of the box? And then the next video, I'll be going through all the processes I'm going to do to try to paint this. And then, uh, yeah, so let's zoom out a little. funny things I just wanted to show is yes it looks like an airbrush that's the point the whole point is supposed to look like an airbrush there's my water right there but here's a good idea of scale so it's pretty big um, pretty big in the hand I, I was saying before maybe it's about double the size I guess it's hard to figure out the ratio is maybe two two times bigger but I forget scale but there you go so there's your airbrush spaceship Next, I'm going to go into uh, each section and just talk about some of the areas that might have. Mostly, I'm just going to go with like uh, pros and cons of the kit. First, there's more pros than there are cons. I'll just uh, actually I'll go over the, the, the parts I, I think aren't that great first. Okay, so starting off first with what I consider to be a little bit of a con. Uh, not con as in a uh, trying to trickery, but just a little mosaic. Like these right here are holding on pretty good, but they're a little loose right there. See where the connector is? 
possible because I don't. So these will need some glue to lock them on. And then the same thing is the issue here. It's hard to line these up. There's supposed to be a flat end on a circle. Um, it's a little difficult to sometimes see what it is, but they'll still hold together. It's holding on. It's just trying to get it lined up is a bit on the tricky side. So most of the issues I had are right in here. But again, it's, it's so minor. See, it's just that the little bit is not quite sitting on the peg right there. But if you glue it, when you're done painting it, glue the pieces and put a little rubber band around them, you're 100% good to go. Same thing within here, because this is where a wire connector is that runs out the power to the back. So watch out when you're running the wires in there. Um, everything else fits real good. A little loose, the ball joint here going into the metal, into the main battery light down there, but not a big deal. Everything else fits real tight. Uh, but I'd say watch out in this area for that, which is, again, not a big deal. It just needs to be glued down like held down. I'll glue it down after I'm done with this video when I do the paint. And then one thing I did is a nice little effect back here. I really like how that splays out. But one of the issues was, I'll show you in the, I'll put a photo up of the manual, but the, there's a last LED segment from here that's supposed to glow out blue. Now I broke the wires between the connections. I've, in the future, I'll probably re-solder them if I can but that took a lot of like bending and tweaking. So here, let me get the manual so I can explain what I meant. This, okay. So when we get to this point of the body, the uh, final thruster, so there's a little clear part here and there's a double, there's two LED strip and they're connected with two wire, two lead wires here, red and blue, uh, sorry, red and black. Um, and it has you put this piece in first and I was confused about it and I, I ended up putting the wires under the wrong spot and I kept torquing them, torquing them and then they snapped off. So that was my user error, but still be very careful when you put this together. That's my one thing I found as an issue back here. And so my uh, thruster won't light up when I plug it in. Um, everything else lights up on this board, just this one does not, no longer works until I solder it. So between there and there, the little wires, be careful with them. So I think uh, that, I and mean, again, this is my only issue is just stuff going on in the back end here. Everything else sanded really well. All the, all the pegs seem to be in a really nice, uh, we're in a nice, uh, all the, sorry, all the sprues were all, not so much that they were undergated, but they were all in really nice spots that were easy to sand. And most of the colors are there. Again, the little panel lines is gonna look really good. But only issue I had right now with this is some of the parts wanna pop off right there, just that. And then some of these get a little loose, but these are things that can be fixed with glue. They're not falling off when I shake them. That's the big deal. Clear parts all throughout the center. So this is the area that I was discussing that was hard to line up. Um, this part was easy. When it comes down to it, I couldn't tell too much where the flat ends were when I installed this center one. And I kind of, it still installed um, okay without knowing where the flat spot was, but I did definitely uh, mess it up. So these are misaligned. They're not lined up where they should be. It doesn't affect how you build it. It's just that it doesn't look the way it should. Uh, so just make sure you're careful about where you're putting, when you see the flat sections on this cylinder, uh, where you go, okay? So what I really like about this, just out of the box, is all the details. There's some really nice little uh, spindle clusters here. I could see a lot of uses for this, like before you build it, do a couple quick cup molds on it. Uh, just so you have some detail parts like the thrusters, the engine in the back, uh, areas like that in the front. Let me get that focus. Yeah, those little guys right there, they're both circles and independent. There's just so much detail on the insides. Um, all these panels kind of come off in sections. It's very easy. It's going to be a very easy um, demold or, I'm uh, sorry, a really easy separation to get this uh, ready for uh, weathering, the weathering as paint. Um, just a nice flat back there, the back engine 
is very cool. It actually runs, there's a hole, you can take all these panels off. I'll show during the weathering. You take these panels off and there's a whole another engine section under there uh, that you can see worth the uh, molding sections or if you want to pick this up just for other parts. But I think the greatest thing that I, what I really like about this out of all everything, it's all pros for me, there's only the few cons. It's all pro is that this is an airbrush, an airbrush spaceship. I cannot wait to see what this, what the artist, what the, what the creator of this from this company can do with other things. Like, are they gonna do this airbrush? Are they gonna do like a badger? Are they gonna do, is it only be airbrushes? Can we do, what other stuff? Like, can we do a space, like some god hand, like nippers? Can we do, uh, I think of all the tools, like sanding tools, sanding boards, like just stuff you wouldn't expect, like a drill, like a hand drill, but as a spaceship, like what kind of stuff? And then also, what kind of stuff could they do for like weapons? Because the amount of detail that's in here, it's on the higher end of price, but I'm seeing where the money's going and that's into this. It's going into the design, it's going into the concept. It's, it's cool. I love this so much. It has, like, I can't explain it. It's an airbrush, it's everything we use. Like, I'm almost tempted to get another one of these and set up an airline through this so that I can actually use it to, to paint. Like one or two things, just, just for fun, why not? Because I could probably fit like the housing for this inside here and just have an actual, you know, use this as an actual airbrush. I mean, that'd be so cool. But beyond all that, who knows? Uh, I am gonna weather this up next. It's going to be, I'm gonna take apart the parts. I'm gonna do the weathering with uh, with my panel liner first, my enamels. I'm gonna use some acrylics if you're, if you're worried about the plastic getting damaged. And then I'm gonna come back to you with that. So the rest of this is just gonna be some close-up photos and uh, no more be talking. But uh, I think, you know, do yourself a favor, think about it. Um, I should have a link in my Instagram for a while. I don't know how, I'll probably put it in the, um, in my, uh, what's that thing, Your, my, my links in my bio. Uh, maybe I'll put it, how long it'll stay up. But remember, go out and check out for pre-order, uh, gumplestyle.com. I put the links below here like before and just use my link uh, to get, I think, 10% off. Or, uh, you know, search around your local uh, hobby stores. Try to find this if you can, it is very cool. I don't know how long they're gonna be out here or how we're gonna get them, but this thing, if you want something new, if you're bored and wanna try something new that is new and original and a cool concept, pick this up. Spend a little money, take your time with it. Don't worry about some loose parts. You can always glue those down. Ain't nothing but a thing. Just look at that, even just me pressing it down. Maybe I didn't even press it down hard enough. Look, see, it stays. But point being, this is a well-engineered and well-thought-out piece. I'm telling you, I, this is not third party, but I'm telling you that, that other companies are starting to catch up. They're starting to realize they don't wanna just put out junk. They wanna put out something cool. It, this is an artist's vision. This is an artist thinking about this, okay? So that's why I love this. This was built by an artist for us. Just like, it, it's just very cool. I like it a lot. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit. Thank you so much. Take some photos of this later. And uh, if you want to get one, follow the links. Bye. All right, so what I did is I hooked up a small little battery to the USB mounted in the base here. Now it may be a little difficult and I've turned it on and off a few times uh, to see the light under these conditions. So I'm gonna try to turn off some of my lights so you can see the glow. Hopefully it won't be too dark. Let me try to get this one off. Okay. So a little dark, Let's see about turning this one all the way down. All right, so we'll start with just that. So we got LED glowing back to here and see this, there is some purple there, but there'd be a lot more glow in this small section and a little bit more glow in the back thruster and definitely more blue coming out of there, but I broke that LED. So that was my fault. Uh, just be very careful with this last section LED. Uh, there's the engine right there, red. And then throughout all here, almost all these little windows, you got these little clear parts peeking through, which is such a nice little effect. Then you got a deep blue. Let me try to open this up. You got blue. This also is a little loose right here, this connector. Not a big deal, just try not to pick it up from here. Pick it up from the center. So yeah, you got a nice blue glow there and all these LEDs are included on strips and they're mounted really easily 
to the main base down here. So all you need is a USB and a power supply, uh, whether it's plugged into a wall or a little small uh, secondary battery. So I'm gonna turn off this second light and see it's gonna get a lot darker. Then you can see the how much glow is coming out of them. They're not incredibly bright, but in the right lighting for this, really moody lighting, you should be able to get it better. But if you wanna wire up your own, there's definitely tons of space in there to be able to set your own power supply up and get your own super bright in there. The only thing that's not lighting up back here, it should be, is the part that I broke. So nice little effect going through there. Kind of a nice with the darkness, like little windows, people looking out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna turn this off, get my lighting back up. It's hard to see in the, you know, the brightness of my light right now is killing everything out, but I gotta be able to see what I'm doing right here. So the stand itself has the wiring that runs up through the main area to the power there.
the final thoughts on this, if I had to have any. So my biggest, uh, the only issues I had with it were some of the parts, uh, like I said in the previous portion of the video, were some of the areas. Um, there are some parts that will want to pop off pretty loosely, but they'll still want to stay on pretty tight. Like all these um, areas here, these little extra bits, some of those will fit tight and some will want to fall off. And this is all stuff that's just fixed with glue. Uh, and then there's this, this part right there that I was talking about. And then in here, lining up, and mostly that's user error on me. I couldn't tell where the flat part was, so that, you know, I was able to press it in. I'll show you a photo back where it was, but it's really just a few parts just need glue to hold on, but, but everything else is very solid, and just take your time with the fittings, and you'll have, you know, kit that holds together and looks good and again the biggest pros are design and detail there's detail in every aspect of it I didn't take this apart but I will for the next video but in here you can see more of the engine you can take all these panels off and there's you can see more of the engine in the back yeah. and so the, I mean the yeah the only the only thing I would recommend is making sure you have your glue out for those parts that need a little extra help staying on. And then just be very careful with the wiring as you go. Uh, like I said before, back here where I messed up. And then just, you'll have, you know, you have a very unique piece to display. I mean, this is, it may not be everyone's uh, cup of tea, but I think it is a very cool idea. A very cool idea. Can't wait to see if anyone else uh, paints some of these. And I look forward to seeing what else comes from this company because this is, like I said before, it, it, it seems the designer is an artist, not just the, the, an artist that understands fun and wanted to, wanted to design something that was unique. And they've done it. I mean, tell me, tell me where else you've seen um, an airbrush converted into a ship, into a model kit, and come out looking this good, and this big. So, that's it, uh, moving on to the next video. Thank you. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, as much as I enjoyed building this, I'm gonna get right into weathering this and painting it but not painting it with no base paint so basically using weathering as painting as you saw if you look at my 86 video I'm gonna try to make the plastic come out and I'm shade it and maybe use some acrylics um, hand brushing very minimal it's gonna be mostly the plastic coming through uh, with added details and then that'll be the next thing up so see you then Thank you.